Tips on stopping underage drinking at TalkingOutNC.org. Someone who suffers from addiction. Now, a recovery concept from Florida is making its way to the Tar Heel State. After the break, we sit down with the founder of Recovery Rock Fest to find out how it's helping some people beat their addiction. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hey, music producer, it's bringing a new live music concept from Florida to the coast of North Carolina. Nyla Sioni founded Recovery Rock Fest down in the Sunshine State. The Fun and Music Field event is making its debut at Keenan Auditorium on August 29th. And Nyla joins us from our newsroom. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Caroline. Nice to speak with you today. Of course, concerts are known as a place to obviously hear good music, but often it's also a place a lot of people go to party, but your festival represents something very different, correct? That's correct. It's a substance-free, rock full concert. Very neat. Well, let's talk about the problem. How big of a problem is addiction out there right now? Well, it's, it, it's you know, they say it's an estimated over 40 million people are affected with addiction from ages 12 on up. Um, and I can't, I don't know one family that isn't affected in one way or another with somebody who has uh, the anomaly of addiction. We're, we're just seeing some video of your promo for the event. It looks fantastic. What can we expect? Who all is going to be there? Well, we have uh, some of our local favorites, which is Mike Blair and the Stonewalls. Uh, they'll be kicking off the event. We're going to have uh, Stray Local. We'll follow them. We have a, a, also a guest, which is Tom McDonald. He's going to be also uh, doing a spot um, in the lineup. And then we have Folkstar, which is another local favorite. And then Melissa Farrick, who is a national indie artist out of Boston, is going to come to uh, give us the finale of the show. Well, of course, you're going to have fantastic music. But what else do you hope folks get out of this concert? Well, it's really about celebrating recovery and just putting the message out there that it's a positive way to go for people who do struggle with addiction. But it's also a way to bring the whole community together as there are other people out there that don't lead a, they lead a substance-free life. And so they would like to have an experience of being able to go to a concert that is substance-free right. uh, as an option. Is this something for all ages? It's for all ages, right. family, family friendly. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we really appreciate you being here. Recovery Rock Fest is this coming Saturday at Keenan Auditorium. Tickets can be bought online in advance or there the day of the show and a portion of the proceeds go to UNCW's Collegiate Recovery Program. The GoFundMe page has also been set up to help with the festival cost.